Hello, welcome to the channel. This is the Baron. Today I have my second box of Ravica Remastered Collector's Edition. Probably be my last. <clears throat> There's just so many good shock lands and stuff in the first one, and I still needed some stuff, so we got a second one. This one's a little beat up, so that means that I'll be extra good stuff in there. It's hard to get into, too. Let's just rip, rip into it. Okay, it got mushed up a little bit in transit, it looks like. Hopefully we don't have any damaged cards, but we definitely, definitely got the cards moved around. All right, let's get in here and see what we got. Our lovely goblin token, followed by, ooh, starting it off with an overgrown tomb. And then we got our first anime, which uh, not happy about. I didn't need that one. I want more anime. And uh, Sacred Foundry. All right, two shock lands in the first pack. Uh, I guess I'll just stick rares there that I don't really care about. And then we'll go into the mana section. No third shock land. So, still need some of these anime cards as well. So. Hopefully we'll get some of those. All right, here we go. And we have the Carnes. I, I don't remember this one. Ooh, it proliferates. I don't remember that one. That is cool. We'll just put that up with the lands. And we got a breeding pool to go with it. So there is a shock land in there. And then we got a couple of rares there that I'm not overly excited about. Whoop. Um, yeah, I don't do those. The seal. Decent stuff there. Let's see if we got any of the other cards I need. Nope. All right. So let me figure out a way to set those to the side. So doing good on lands. Got three shots and one specialty. Doing good on those. And we've got a... Cloud of Calling Instant. Okay, we've got uh, The Lost in Anime. And then we got that guy. And then we got a Planeswalker. Oh, she's a rare. Okay. Oh, there's one of the cards that I need. Going for that deck. And a second one. Nice. Two in one pack. Some fun stuff there. All right. Get those out of the way. Doing pretty well. I got a couple cards I needed. All right. And we got a Chromatic Lantern. We have a Blood Crypt. So if we hit another one of those. A Blind Obedience. And ooh. We got a Forest. All right, I didn't have him. And let's see, put our rare there and go through these. And we got a guild gate, so I'm not going to separate those. But there's a couple of other cards I'm looking for in there. All right, so that, that's cool. That was a mythic planeswalker. He looks good in this set. And here we go. We got a Sphinx retro. Oh. A Nismizic in the uh, anime, which I don't think I have, so that's cool. And then a Steam Vents. And then a Midnight Reaper. And we got a Signet. And some other cool cards. All right. A weird box. I don't know exactly what it's doing. We've got some stuff we need. And we've got the bracers. All right. Guardian Protect and uh, Project in Anime. I did not have that one, so that is cool. And then uh, Demon Retinas. Okay. That's pretty cool. Wait a minute. Was one of those a mythic? Nope, just rares. All right, I was going to try and keep up with the mythics. And then we got a gate. And uh, no more blue cards. 
All right, halfway through the box. I admit I would like to see more anime cards out of here. It's sort of weird. The anime slot hasn't been paying off. Oh, there we go. All right. We got Tessa and full art foil, followed by a temple garden and another lantern. And all right, an infernal tutor. I actually needed one of those for a deck. And now I have that one. All right, and we got a gate. So nothing in the mana slots yet. All right, so that's pretty good. Three of the five anime cards I needed. I do like the anime treatment. Some people don't. And let's see. We got a rest in peace retro. We got the anime bird. We got another sphinx. And then we got a double card. Um, oh, cool. There's a vampire. All right. And see. And we've got a anime full art of the planeswalker, followed by another, really, two mythics. There we go. And uh, Life of from the Loom, which I'm not sure if I got, so that's cool. We got the Lost again. We got a gate. Zombie cat. I thought I saw that zombie cat somewhere. Where was that? Oh, yeah. That's cool. All right. Well, picked up on the anime cards. Went down on the Shocklands. Let's see what we get here. And uh, we've got the Mer Folk Wizard. Oh. There's a good mythic. The Karyo in the anime version, so I do not have that. Then we have the shield, and we have a double card, which I don't pay attention to, as you noticed. And we got uh, gates, so nothing there. No more special blue cards. Two packs left. I guess my Karyo is probably my biggest hit out of here, but that's pretty cool, because I did not have that one, and... We got a shaman. Okay. That is cool. I do not have her. And we have another anime card. That guy I have. And we got a Krenko. And we got a mass horror. And we got a gate. There's another shaman. All right. Well, the big thing I don't see that I would like, if you can pull off another shock land, is the full art Godless Shrine. That's one I was looking for. And there we go. We got a uh, ghost way for our last chance at a serialized. A stomping ground for a full art. A enter the infinite. And uh, unbreakable formation. I don't even know if I've seen that one before, so that's cool. And, uh, ooh, we got a gate. Did we not get a mana slot rare? I think we missed. Unless I missed it. I think we missed on the mana slot. I can go through these real quick and find out. I mean, I did get, let's see, two, four, six, eight. Did it get eight? Which is good. Um, unless I passed one up thinking it was a guild gate. Uncommon, common, common. Uncommon. I've not seen a box actually miss. I've seen a chromatic lantern instead of a uh, shock land. But uh, I don't think I got one. Not a big deal. Overall, I think it was an okay box. It's funny, there's like two or three anime cards I was really looking for and I did not get. So that's, 
They're not expensive, but it's just, uh, there we go. I did miss it. All right, we had a water grave in there. Okay. I don't know how I managed to do that, but hey, double check, watery grave. That brings us up to three, six, nine. So we got nine shock lands. And uh, I think, how many overgrown tombs? At least two, right? No, only one. I was thinking I got two. Overgrown tombs, sacred family. Stomping ground. Was this pretty much? Oh, yeah. Nope. Eight. I forgot. That's not a land. Breeding pool. Sacred foundry. Blood crypts. Temple garden. Stomping ground. We did not get a repeat, did we? So that's two, four, six. That's eight. Yeah. Sacred foundry. Stomping ground. A lot of S's in here. <laughs> Steam vents. Breeding pool, blood crypt, temple garden, watery grave, and overgrown tomb. I was two shock lands from having them all. So this was pretty successful. I noticed I did not get the retro. Yeah, I didn't get a retro frame foil. I've noticed that happens sometimes. All right, anime. Let's see what we got in here. This was definitely my biggest hit with the Mythic, I believe. That's a pretty good card. I uh, got doubles on those, so we got both of those. We got the birds. I'm happy with the Tessa on one, one of those. That one's good. Nismic was uh, rare. So, oh, we did it. So it was two Mythics, three Mythics. Well, all the Planeswalkers, I guess, are Mythics. So I guess we got a lot of Mythics. After all, two, five Mythics there. And then we got our uh, Planeswalker Mythic for six. And then we got a good rare. So all in all, this was a pretty decent box, I think. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe, and all that fun YouTube stuff. And I will see you next time.